Hi, welcome to Brunner Brothers. My name is Dave Ray, head of the competition judging department. I've been asked to speak to you on the area of preparing for a competition. This will be one of many series, and so I am going to begin by speaking about learning what's trending. So how do you know what's trending? It is imperative that you follow social media, you follow fashion blogs, you, f you follow the news uh, programs such as Entertainment Tonight, etc. That gives you an idea as to what is trending in terms of what the celebrities are wearing, what the stylists are creating for uh, celebrities to wear at ev different events. You also should research lots of fashion within the European market, such as Paris, Italy, Spain, and Luxembourg. All those places have lots of fashion uh, symposiums, gurus, and conversations. And so you'll be able to see what is trending not only in the, in the American, in the American uh, arena, but also in the European market. So that is how you know what's trending. It is important because you need to know what colors to choose, you know, which direction the hair should be going, what is in for the moment. Because sometimes, you know, we enter these competitions and we have styles that are three or four years old. And so many times you do not acquire points for uh, originality or creativity or newness. And so you want to be able to be on point with all of these, um, you know, avenues so that you can be able to expound on you know, your work and pro produce the best work that you can. Uh, judges are generally looking for uh, things that are eye-catching and things that they know in the market. Although the judges come from different parts of the country, they pretty much are very much au fait with what is trending. And so you need to be aware of that too so that you can make the best decisions when you're preparing for competition. We as judges, we try to be fair as possible. That is our goal. We have no stake in the, in the matter. We don't take this personally. We are just doing our work. And so we, we look at what we see. We cannot interpret what we think you mean. So it's important that you do all you can to send a clear message that the judges, the, the judges do not have to think about what is it you're trying to say with your look, okay? clean lines, um, and sometimes messy looks, messy looks work depending on what the style uh, uh, demands, but it also has to be some direction to it. So being messy because it means that you just woke up is one thing, but being messy when it's the look that you're trying to create is another, and we can be able to tell the difference. And so I want you to be able to use this opportunity to follow the trends Look and see what's happening. Even simple places like Facebook, you will see people wearing certain looks. They all may not be glamorous, but you can pick the good ones from what's out there. And so, goodbye for now.